For the relationship between load, shear, and moment, let us consider a simply supported beam that is loaded with a uniform distributed load. So we have R1, R2, and the uniform distributed load. So let us pass an exploratory section, A, at that part. So this is now our distance x. So solving for the shear, by having the summation of forces vertical, the left segment or left side of the segment. So our shearing force is equal to R1 minus Wx. In which uh, in a simply supported beam, R1 is equal to R2 and it is equal to the uniformly distributed load multiplied by the length divided by 2. So, substitute natin. R1 is equal to WL over 2 minus Wx. And then, if we will take the moment at this portion, the moment is equal to R1x minus Wx multiplied by the moment arm of x of over 2. So, the moment now is equal to R1x. Ay, sorry. So, let us substitute R1 with WL over 2. Multiplied by x minus Wx squared all over 2. So, let us differentiate the moment with respect to x. So, again. So, it is equal to WL all over 2 dx all over dx minus w over 2 of 2x multiplied by dx over dx. Therefore, simplify natin. So, it is equal to wl all over 2 minus wx. And this formula is our shear. Therefore, we can say that the, different, or the derivative of the moment with respect to x is equal to our v or our shear. And then if we take the differing or if we differentiate v with respect to x using this formula, so magiging dvl over dx is equal to 0 minus a w of dx over dx. So, magiging so, 0 minus w. So, therefore, ito magiging 1 yan. So, it shows yung load. So, the derivative of uh, the shear with respect to x is our load. Therefore, we can say that the derivative of moment with respect to x distance x is equal to shear and the derivative of our uh, shear with respect to x is our load. So, uh, kindly take note that the rate of change of the shearing force with respect to x is equal to the load and the slope of the shear diagram at a given point is equal to the load of that point. So, later on, I will discuss it further. Next is the properties of shear and moment diagram. So, I have six properties here of shear and moment diagrams and it is very important uh, to know or to learn these properties in considering the shear and moment diagram. So the first property, the area of the shear diagram to the left or to the right of the section is equal to the moment of that, uh, moment of that section. So later, or, later on, I will illustrate uh, property number one on our sample problem. The second property, the slope of the moment diagram at a given point is the shear at that point. And then the third one, the slope of the shear diagram at a given point equals the load at that point. Number four, the maximum moment occurs at the point of zero shear. This was discussed on the first part of this chapter. This is in reference to property number two, that the slope of the moment diagram at any given point is the shear at that point. So, when the shear is zero, 
the tangent drawn to the moment diagram is horizontal. The fifth property, the shear, if the shear diagram is increasing, the moment diagram is concave upward. And when the shear diagram is decreasing, the moment diagram is concave downward. So this was discussed also in the first part of the problem. So 5 and 6, so the shear diagram is increasing, the moment diagram is concave upward. And if the shear diagram is decreasing, the moment diagram is concave downward. So concave downward, concave upward. So for 1, 2, and 3, I will illustrate that later on our sample problem. So next, we have the summary of the principles for the construction of shear and moment diagram. So parang magkahawit lang sila on the uh, summary of how we solve the problems on the first part of this chapter. So, first step is to compute the reaction. So, you must compute the reactions and the supports. Second one, uh, compute values of shear at the change of load points using either the summation of forces vertical at the left part of the segment or left part of the um, exploratory section or by taking the area of the load. So I will show that later on how we will solve uh, shearing by having the area of the load. Next, uh, sketch the shear diagram determining the shape through the slope of the shear diagram. That is the intensity of the load ordinate equals the slope at the corresponding ordinate of the shear diagram. Next is to locate the points of zero shear. So the points of zero shear, it occurs here the maximum uh, moment. So, uh, in the point of zero shear, makikita natin, kung ipapat natin yung moment diagram, it uh, will occur there, the maximum moment. Next, uh, compute values of bending moment at the change of load points and at the points of zero shear. Using either the summation of moment at the left portion of the segment or right portion of the segment or the area of the shear. So, kakansin nyo, in getting the shear, we will be having the area of the load and in solving for the moment, we will be having the area of the shear diagram. Next, uh, sketch the moment diagram through the ordinates of the bending moments completed in step 5. The shape of the diagram is determined through the slope of the moment diagram. That is, the intensity of the shear ordinate equals the slope at the corresponding ordinate of the moment diagram. So, to be able to understand better, the relationship of the load shear and moment let us have our sample so for our first example we have here a beam that is uh, supported at point b and point d with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kilonewton per meter and a point load of 8 kilonewton so first step is to determine the reaction at b and the reaction at d by taking summation of moment at point D is equal to 0, clockwise positive. So we have RB moment arm is 9 plus 3, so 12 meters. Minus yung uniform distributed load natin, which is 2 kN per meter, meter. Multiplied by its length, so 12 meters. And then yung moment arm niya is 12 divided by 2, so 6 plus 3 minus yung point load natin na 8 kN moment arm is 3 so it is equal to 0 therefore the reaction at B is equal to so negative 2 so transpose natin so reaction at B is equal to 20 kN and then summation of forces vertical is equal to 0 upward positive. So, we have yung RB natin which is 20 kN plus RD minus uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter multiplied by the length 12 meters minus 8 kN. Therefore, the reaction at this equal to 20 minus 2. So, transpose natin. So, it is equal to 12 kN. So, sorry, so this is 0. Therefore, reaction at D is equal to uh, 12 kN.
next step is to draw the uh, shear and moment diagram by having these uh, questions or guiding questions so for our shear diagram we have two guiding questions first question is um, is there any point load at this point and the second question is there any area in the load diagram and for the moment diagram we also have two guiding questions which is is there any moment or bending moment at this point and the second guiding question is is there any area in the shear diagram so for the shear diagram these questions uh, defines the slope of the shear diagram at a given point that is equal to the load at that point and so for the moment diagram it defines here the slope of the moment diagram at a given point is equal to the shear at that point so let us start to make the diagram So, extend lang natin yung mga, mga guidelines. So, this is for our shear diagram. And this is for our moment diagram. This is our load diagram, by the way. So, for the shear diagram, our first guiding question is, is there any point load at this point? So, dito tayo sa segment AB muna. So, is there any point load at this point? So, we don't have any point load. So, let's say here at AB. Right. So, zero. And then, let us proceed to the uh, second question. And it is applicable to the left side. Or left portion. Nothing AB. So, it is equal to... Is there any area in the load diagram? Yes, we have an area at the load diagram. So, ang gagawin nyo is to copy the value of the first uh, shear minus 2 kN per meter multiplied by 3. So, kukunin nyo lang yung area ng load diagram. So, it is equal to negative 6 kN. So, we have negative 6 kN at this portion. So, this is negative 6. Negative 6 kN. And then, let us proceed to the next segment, which is segment BC. So, BC, right? And then, go back to the first question. Copy natin yung last. Negative 6 kN. Is there any point load at this point? So, do we have a point load at this point? Yes, we have, which is the reaction, which is the 20 kN. So, negative 6 plus 20 kN. Bakit plus? Kasi pataas yung direction ng ating reaction at P. So, it is equal to 14 kN. So, we have 14 kN. And then, the left naman, is there any area in the load diagram? So, we have an area in the load diagram which is equal to 2 multiplied by the length which is 9 meters. So, let us copy the previous one. So, 14 kN minus 2 multiplied by 9 meters. So, ito yung area ng ating load diagram at segment PC. So, it is equal to negative uh, 4. It is equal to negative 4 kN. And then, for segment CD, we go back to the first question. Is there any point load at this point? So, we have a point load at this point point which is the 8 kN. So negative 4 kN minus 8 kN kasi downward. So it is equal to negative 12 kN. And then next 
left portion. Is there any area in the load diagram? So, wala na tayong uh, area in the load diagram. So, copy this one. So, negative 12 kN plus 0. So, negative 12 kN. So, negative 4, uh, so 14 and then at BC, we have negative 4. We have negative 4 kN. And then CD, we have negative 12 kN. And then, negative 12 kN. So, may kita nyo na nag-close yung ating shear diagram kasi it is equal to the um, reaction at D. So, let us connect the dots. So, 0 degree yan. So, magiging 1 degree itong mga lines natin. Since it is a uniformly distributed load, kaya 0 degree. So, ito na yung ating shear diagram. So, this would be our shear diagram. And next step is to determine the position of zero shear. So, yung zero shear natin at this point. So, by ratio and proportion. By ratio and proportion. So, let us say that this is x. Or, yes. This is x and this is 9 minus x. So, by ratio and proportion, we have... Uh, 14 plus 6 so we have I know 14 plus 4 so we have 18 all over yung length niya which is 9 meters is equal to 14 all over x therefore our x is equal to 18 divided by 9 oh sorry this must be 18 all over All over 9 is equal to 14 all over x. So 18 all over 9 is equal to 14 all over x. So yes, our x is equal to 7 uh, meters. If this is 7 meters, therefore this is 2 meters. So again, saan yung zero shear natin doon yung maximum or minimum uh, value ng ating moment or maximum rather, maximum value ng ating moment so for our moment diagram we have uh, guiding questions also so for the first one uh, is there any moment at this point so move ko lang to so for the first one is there any moment at this point so wala tayong moment kaya moment at AB right is equal to 0 and then at AB the left portion 0 is there any area in the shear diagram so we have an area in the shear diagram which is equal to minus one half of uh, 6 kilonewton multiplied by 3 meters so it is equal to negative 9 um, kilonewton that meter and then for moment at segment <clears throat> so let's say this is B prime. <clears throat> Moment at B of B prime. Right. So copy this one negative 9 kilonewton. Is there any uh, moment? Is there any moment at this point? So we don't have any moment. Kaya plus 0. So negative 9 kilonewton that meter pa din. And then at the left portion. Is there any area in the shear diagram? Yes, we have an area which is equal to one half of 14 
multiplied by x which is 7 meters so it is equal to negative 9 so it is equal to 40 kilonewtons that meter and then for a moment at proceed to b prime c right portion so we have a 40 kilonewton that meter is there any moment at this point so we don't have any moment so mag retain yan and then moment at b prime c left portion is there any area in the shear diagram yes we have which is 40 kilonewton that meter minus one half of this is 2 meters so 2 multiplied by 4 so negative 4 sana to kaso tinan uh, nilipat na siya dito so automatic na yan so we have 40 minus 0.5 of 2 times 4 so we have 36 kilonewton that meter and then for the last uh, segment we have c d right so 36 kilonewton that meter is there any uh, moment at this point so we don't have and then let us proceed at the left portion ng CD which is 36 kilonewton that meter is there any area in the shear diagram so we have this is the area in the shear diagram so magiging minus uh, 12 multiplied by 3 so it is equal to 0 so yan na close na ang ating uh, moment diagram so we plot lang natin so we have here at AB 0 and then left part we have negative 9 so we have here 0 and then negative 9 kilonewton that meter and then at B prime here nag retain yung negative 9 left portion ng BB prime 40 so have 40 which is the maximum moment kilonewton that meter and then bb prime no we have bc or b prime c right we have 40 nag retain and then at this portion we have 36 so here we have 36 kilonewton that meter and then at cd right so this is cd 36 nag retain and then cd left so we have zero so I am not close. So this is in a decreasing manner. So yung ating moment diagram will be concave downward. Because if the shear diagram is decreasing, the moment diagram is concave downward and then vice versa. This is decreasing, so concave downward then. At uh, 2 degree yung curve natin. Decreasing, so concave downward then. And at this point, we have a 0 degree, kaya straight line. So, this is a straight line. So, kindly uh, specify kung anong degree ng curve. So, we have here 2 degree, 2 degree, 2 degree, and 1 degree. So, we specify that uh, in your exam. So, ito na yung ating moment uh, diagram. So, that is in a 2 degree manner and this is one degree curve so this is now our moment diagram so for our next example we have here a simply supported beam that is loaded by a uniformly distributed load of 100 pounds per uh, foot and a point load of 800 pounds so first step as usual is to uh, determine the reactions at A and the reaction at C. So by taking the summation of moment at C is equal to 0 clockwise positive. So we have reaction at A 12 minus 100 the length is 12 the moment arm is taking the centroid so 12 divided by 2 so 6 and then minus 800 of 3 is equal to 0. Therefore the reaction at A is equal to so transpose natin so magiging 800 uh, pounds and then 
uh, taking the summation of forces vertical is equal to zero upward positive so we have 800 plus reaction at c minus point load 800 minus 100 of 12 feet equal to zero therefore the reaction at c is equal to 1200 pounds so reaction at a is 800 the action at C is 1,200 pounds. So for the shear, um, we have the two guiding questions. First one, is there any point load up? at this point so yes we have which is yung ating uh, 800 pounds so we have 800 pounds and then at left portion copy lang natin yan is there any uh, area in the load diagram yes we have which is equal to negative yung area nitong part na to segment AB is equal to 100 multiplied by 9 so it is equal to negative 100 pounds and then for segment bc copy lang natin yan negative 100 is there any point load at this area yes we have which is equal to negative 800 pounds so it is equal to negative 900 pounds and then for the area or yes the area for the load diagram is there any area in the load diagram you will have which is equal to 100 pounds per foot multiplied by 3 feet so negative 900 minus 100 multiplied by 3 so it is equal to negative 1200 pounds that is flat we have here 800 pounds positive 800 pounds next one left portion which is equal to negative 100 pounds and then bc right part we have negative 900 and then left ng bc we have negative 1200 pounds so may kita nyo nag close yung ating pressure diagram negative 1200 uh, negative 1200 and positive 1200 so connecting the points. So ten ang ating uh, shear diagram. So this is our shear diagram. So next is to define uh, or to locate the position of the zero shear. So, yung zero shear natin, this is, let's say, x. And this is 9 minus x. Therefore, by ratio and proportion, let's draw this one. So, we have here negative 100 and then 800. And this is x and this is 9 minus x. And this is 9 feet. So, we have... 800 plus 100 all over 9 is equal to 800 all over x. Therefore, our x is equal to um, 8. x is equal to 8 feet. So, this is 8 feet. Let us proceed. To the moment diagram. Our uh, first guiding question, is there any moment at this uh, portion? So, wala tayong moment dito. So, moment at A, B prime. So, this is B prime. Is there any moment at this point? So, wala. So, it is equal to 0. And then, 
AB prime left. Is there any uh, area or shear? Or is there any area in the shear diagram? Yes, we have. So it is equal to 0 plus 1 half of our x is 8 multiplied by 800. So we have 1 half times 8 times 800. So we have uh, 3200. We have 3200 kilonewton dot meter and then for moment at b prime b right so copy lang natin to 3200 kilonewton dot meter is there any moment at this point so wala tayong moment so magre-retain yan and then as proceed to the left portion is there any uh, area in the shear diagram yes we have which is equal to negative one half of this area 9 minus 8, so 1, multiplied by 100. So, it is equal to minus 50. So, we have 3,150. Oh, sorry. This must be in pound that foot. So, in this is temperature. So, we have pound. And then, for segment BC, have so copy natin yan 3150 is there any uh, moment at this area so wala so magre-retain yan and then at the left portion is there any area in the shear diagram we have which is equal to one half of in trapezoid so 1200 plus 900 and yung height or yung length is equal to 3 so it is equal Therefore, we have so it is equal to zero. So plot natin yung mga points. We have here zero, and then yung left portion ng AB we have three thousand two hundred. So three thousand two hundred. Ito yung maximum moment natin. And then at the right portion na BB prime, so we also have uh, 3,200. And then yung left portion we have 3,150, so 3,150 pounds foot. And then right ng BC natin is 3,150. Then and then left portion is zero. So yan na close yung ating uh, moment diagram. So at this point this is a one degree curve a one degree curve and this is a one degree curve therefore at this portion decreasing yung ating uh, shear diagram kaya magiging concave downward yung curve natin so this is a two degree concave uh, downward yeah. and then decreasing also kaya kung concave downward and then also at this portion decreasing yung shear natin kaya concave downward yan so these three curves are all in 2 degree so 2 degree curve to mato so this is now the moment diagram for uh, this uh, problem so again in your exam specify the points and then the degree ng curve niyo so this is now our moment diagram so we have here a beam that is um, overhanging at segment DE and then it is being loaded by a 40 kN per meter uniformly distributed load all over the span and a 20 kN per meter in the segment CD and then 40 kN at point E and then 50 kN at point B so, first part, of course, is to determine the value of uh, reaction at A and then reaction at B. So, we have taking the summation of moment at this equal to 0, clockwise positive. So, we have RA multiplied by the moment R, so 2, uh, 6, 7. So, 7 meters minus 40 kilonewton per meter. Length is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we have 10 meters. 
and then the moment arm which is equal to at this part so 5 6 7 so 3.5 so 3.5 meters yung moment arm niya uh, so mali um segment muna pala a to d so we have 40 kilonewton per meter and then uh, 5 6 7 so we have 7 meters sorry so 7 meters multiplied by 3.5 as the moment arm. And then, kunin natin itong part na to. So, yung kinonsider ko muna is itong uh, left ng ating uh, D. So, next one is consider natin yung right part ng D. So, which is equal to plus 40 kN per meter multiplied by 3 meters. And then, moment arm is 1.5 meters. So, we have another one which is equal to uh, minus 50 kilonewton. Moment arm is 5 meters plus 40 moment arm, 3 meters. And then, itong ating uh, distributed load here sa taas. So, we have uh, minus 20 kilonewton per meter. Length is 4 meters and then moment arm is 2 meters. It is equal to 0. Therefore, the reaction at A is equal to So, the reaction at A is equal to 155.71 kN. And then, taking the summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, upward positive. So, we have yung RA natin, which is 155.71 kN plus RD minus 40 kN per meter multiplied by the entire length, which is equal to 10 meters. And then, dito tayo na sa taas, minus 20 multiplied by 4. And then, this one, minus 50 kN minus 40 kN is equal to 0. Therefore, the reaction at D is equal to... Then, transpose natin. So, magiging 414.29 kN. So, double check lang natin. 155.71, 50, minus 40. Then, transpose natin. Kaya nagiging, or magiging 414.29 kN. So, we are now ready to plot the diagram. Or to get the points of the diagram. So, for the shear, anayin natin dito. So, we have VAB. So, puntang right. So, is there any point load? Yes, we have, which is the reaction at A. So, sulat lang natin. Then, reaction at D, we have 414.29 kN. So, VAB, right. We have a point load, which is equal to 155.71 kN. And then next, VAB, pupuntang left, 155.71. Is there any area in the uh, load diagram we have which is equal to 40 kN per meter multiplied by 2? So, minus 40 kN per meter multiplied by 2 meters. So, we have, so it is equal to 75.71 kN. And then, V. Uh, BC, right? Copy natin yan. So, we have 75.71 kN. Is there any point load at BC? We have, which is equal to negative 50. So, we have negative 50 kN. Therefore, is equal to 25.71 kN. And then, VBC, left. Is there any uh, area we have, which is equal to 25.71 kN minus... 40 kN 
per meter multiplied by the length which is 1 meter. So it is equal to negative 14.29 kilonewton. And then next, uh, VCD, right? So we have negative 14.29 kilonewton. Is there any uh, point load? So we don't have, so retain yan. Next, VCD left. Is there any area in the load diagram we have which is equal to negative 40 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 4 meters minus, meron pa sa taas, which is equal to 20 kilonewton per meter multiplied by the length, which is 4 meters. So it is equal to minus 40 times 4 minus 20 times 4. So we have negative 254.29 kilonewton. And then next, we have VDE, right? So, negative 254.29 kilonewton. Is there any point load we have which is equal to 414? So, we have positive 414.29 kilonewton. So, it is equal to plus 414.29. So, it is equal to 160 kilonewton. And then, for the last one, is there any area at the load diagram we have which is equal to a 40 to minus 40 multiplied by the distance so we have 3 meters so it is equal to minus 40 so we have 40 kilonewton and then kung mapapansin nyo we have 40 kilonewton at the left so at this part and then we have a point load here 40 kilonewton kaya 40 kilonewton minus 40 kilonewton so 0 so magkuklose yung ating shear diagram so let us plot para makita nyo so we have here 155.71 and then VAB, so 75.71. We have 155.71 kilonewton. Next, we have 75.71. And then VBC, right? We have 25.71 kilonewton. And then VBC left, we have negative, negative 14.29 kilonewton. And then VCD. VCD right so nagretain siya so 14 and then VCD left so we have negative 254.29 kilonewton and then VDE right so 160 so tumaas siya ng 160 kilonewton and then VDE left so 40 so let's say we have 40 so this is 40 kilonewton ayan and then I-close siya ng negative 40. So, 40 minus negative, uh, minus 40, so 0. So, mag-close yung ating shear diagram. So, kung makapansin nyo, this is all 0 degree curve. Kaya, lahat ay straight line. So, ito yung ating uh, shear diagram. is the illustration of our shear diagram. So next, i-determine na natin yung position ng ating zero shear. So yung zero shear natin is matatagpuan at this part. So uh, kunin natin by ratio and proportion ng segment BC. So we have a segment BC. So drawing natin. This is 25.71 kilonewton. And then this is negative 14.29 kilonewton. And then the length is 1 meter. So let us assume that this is, let's say this is X bar. So we have 25.71 plus 14.29 all over 1 meter is equal to 25.71 all over X. So our X is equal to. x natin is uh, x bar sorry so x bar natin is equal to 0 0.64275 so this is 0 0.64275 so let us proceed to the uh, moment diagram so for the moment at uh, moment at 
so we, we have here b prime pangalan natin itong b prime so we have v uh, moment at a b right so is there any moment at this part so zero and then moment a b left is there any area in the shear diagram we have which is equal to area ng trapezoid so plus one half of 155.71 plus 75.71 and then yung length niya is 2 meters so it is equal to is equal to 231.42 kN that meter and then next we have moment at uh, B B prime right so we have 231.42 kN that meter so is there any moment at this part so wala walang moment yan so magre-retain yan and then moment at B B prime left 231.42 kN that meter is there any area at this part we have which is equal to plus one half of uh, 0 0.64275 multiplied by 25.71. So it is equal to 239.68 so kilonewton dot meter. Next, we have moment at B prime C right so copy natin yun 239.68 kilonewton dot meter so is there any area at B prime C so wala ah moment sorry so wala so let us proceed to moment at B prime C left moment at B prime C left so we have uh, 239.68 0.68 kilonewton that meter so is there any area we have which is equal to one half of so this is 1 minus 0 0.64275 multiplied by 14.29 so it is equal to minus one half of 1 minus 0.64275 multiplied by 14.29 so we have 237.13 kilonewton that meter and then moment at tapos na tayo sa BC prime CD so we have CD left, uh, right, sorry, right so we have uh, 237.13 kilonewton that meter, is there any moment? wala, so magre-retain yan and then moment at CD left is there any area at the shear diagram we have which is equal to minus uh, this is trapezoid, so 1 half of 14.29 plus so, pagkasya na lang natin dito, plus 254.29, and then yung length niya, which is 4 meters. So, it is equal to, minus 1 half of, so, we have <coughs> negative 300.03 kilonewton that meter. And then, moment at DE, right so we have negative 300.03 kilonewton that meter is there any moment at this part so wala so magre-retain yan and then moment at de left so we have negative 300.03 is there any area we have which is equal to itong trapezoid so plus one half of 160 plus 40 and then yung height niya which is or length niya which is 3 meters so it's equal to plus 1 half of 160 plus 40 multiplied by 3 so we have 0 0.03 so ito yung neglect nyo na lang this is considered a 0 kasi uh, yung rounding of natin at the first part maybe hindi na yung consistent kasi we have here as yan gumawa tayo ng 5 decimal points and then the other is 2 decimal points so, we can assume that this is 0. So, nag-close na yung ating uh, moment diagram at uh, segment DE uh, left. So, mag-close yan. So, papakita ko sa inyo. So, neglect this one. So, sabi na natin this is, or assume this 0 0.03 as 0 kN that meter. So, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano. So, we have here 0. 
and then AB left 231.42 kilonewton that meter. Moment at B, B prime right. So we have 231.42 and then next is 239 which is yung maximum natin. Yung maximum moment natin which is 239.68 kilonewton that meter. And then next, BC prime right. Everything. Next, left, 237. So this is 237.13 kilonewton that meter. And then CD right, everything. And then MCD left. We have 300, negative 300, so nag-drop down talaga siya. We have negative 300, assume na natin na that's 300 kilonewton that meter. And then DER right, and then MDEL, so zero. So, ayan. So, ayan. So, close na natin at zero. So, we have CD left and then CD right. So, this is a 1 degree curve. So, magiging 2 degree curve decreasing. So, concave downward. Ayan, concave downward. Concave downward dahil decreasing ulit siya. Concave downward ulit, decreasing. And then, concave downward ulit kasi decreasing siya. And then, uh, this is decreasing again. So, concave downward. So, so this is now the curve. And lahat ng curve is concave downward kasi decreasing yung ating uh, shear diagram. So, it is considered concave downward and then 2 degrees lahat ng curve natin. 2 degree curve, 2 degree curve, and then this is a 2 degree curve. So, yung pinaka-maximum moment natin is located here at B prime which is equal to 239.68 uh, kilonewton that meter. So, this is now the moment diagram. So, connecting all the points, which is 2 degree lahat. So, this is now our moment diagram. So, connecting moment diagram. This is the shear diagram and this is the moment diagram. For the next example, we have here a cantilever beam that is being loaded by a uniform distributed load of 5 kN per meter for the first 2 meters and then a moment at point C with 60 kN that meter. So first step, we know that this is a fixed uh, support. So it has a moment and it has a vertical force. So let's say this is vertical force and then a moment. Let us assume that this is in clockwise motion. So, summation of moment at point D is equal to 0, clockwise positive. So, we have negative 5 kN per meter multiplied by 2. Moment arm is 1 plus 3 meters plus 60 kN that meter and then plus moment at this equal to 0. Therefore, the moment at point B is equal to negative 5 so 2 then 4 plus 2. Therefore, it is equal to negative 20 kN that meter. So, our assumption is wrong. So, balik tarin ko na lang. So, it must be in counterclockwise must be in counterclockwise. So, moment at this equal to 20 kN that meter in counterclockwise direction. And then, taking the summation of forces vertical is equal to 0. So, we have negative 5 kN per meter multiplied by 2 meters plus the vertical force at this equal to 0. Therefore, it is equal to 10 kN. So, this is 10 kN. Then, this is 20 kN dot meter.
uh, for our shear diagram for the shear we have VAB punta tayong right so is there any vertical load or is there any point load in point A wala kaya zero and then AB left so papunta naman tayong left so copy natin zero is there any area in the load diagram yes we have which is equal to negative 5 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 2 meters so it is equal to negative 10 kilonewton next B B C right so dito tayo sa VBC is there any point load wala so we have negative 10 kilonewton and then VBC papuntang left is there any uh, area in the load diagram wala so negative 10 kilonewton and then VCD, right? Is there any point load? Wala. So, negative 10 kilonewton. And then VCD, papuntang left. Is there any uh, area in the load diagram? Wala. So, we have negative 10 kilonewton. So, if we plot it, we have 0 dito. And then negative 10. Negative 10 sa DCB. Negative 10. Negative 10 all throughout the diagram. So, ito yung magiging. So, this is negative 10 kilonewton. Negative 10 kilonewton. Negative 10 kilonewton. This is a 1 degree curve since this is 0 degree. So, this is a 1 degree curve. Therefore, ito na yung ating shear diagram. So, kung mapapansin nyo, our VCD is negative 10. And at this point, positive 10. So, negative 10 plus 10, 0. So, magklo-close yung ating shear diagram. So, yan. This is now our shear diagram. And for our uh, moment, for the moment diagram, ito na tayo, moment at A, B, right. So, we have, is there any moment at this point? So, wala. So, 0. And then, move A, B, left. Is there any area in the shear diagram we have, which is equal to 0 minus 1 half of 10 kilonewton multiplied by the distance, which is 2 meters. So, it is equal to negative 10 kilonewton that meter. And then, let's proceed to the next segment, which is BC, right? So, copy natin, negative 10. And then, is there any moment at this part? So, walang moment. So, mag -re yan. And then, MBC, left, itong part na to. So, is there any moment at this part? Or, sorry, is there any area at this part? Area ng ating shear diagram we have, which is equal to negative 10 kilonewton that meter plus, ah, uh, minus, sorry, minus yung area nito, which is equal to negative 10 multiplied by 2 meters. So, it is equal to negative 20 kilonewton that meter. And then, let's proceed to next segment, which is CD. CD, papuntang right. So, is there any moment at this part we have, which is a positive 60? So, we have negative 20 kilonewton that meter plus 60 plus 60 kilonewton that meter. So, it is equal to 40 kilonewton that meter. And then, MCD left. Dito na tayo. Is there any area in the shear diagram we have, which is equal to 40 uh, minus this is 10 10 multiplied by 1 meter so we have so correction lang this must be a negative 30 sorry this must be negative 30 kilonewton that meter so we have negative 30 kilonewton that meter plus 60 kaya magiging 30 kilonewton that meter then copy natin 30 Yan. so if uh, do we have an area at the shear diagram we have which is equal to 10 kilonewton multiplied by the length which is 1 meter kaya meron tayong natitirang 20 kilonewton that meter so mapapansin nyo we have 20 kilonewton that meter here which is positive and then we have a uh, counterclockwise 20 kilonewton that meter at this part at the fixed uh, section uh, or the fixed uh, support kaya magklo-close yung ating moment diagram so let us see Pag-plot natin kung talagang magklo-close yan so we have a, B, so 0, left, negative 10, we have negative 10, B, C, right, negative 10 then, and then B, C, left, which is negative 30, 
and then uh, pumunta siya ng 30 CD right CD papuntang right so we have a positive 30 at this point and then a 20 kN that meter and then may kita nyo so close nya so 20 minus 20 kaya magiging 0 so then so drawing natin since this is a 1 degree curve tas decreasing pa siya so magkakaroon tayo ng concave um uh, concave downward and then this is a 0 degree curve kaya magiging 1 degree so yan ta. this is a 1 degree curve and then connect natin yun another 1 degree curve and then connect yan so nag close yung ating uh, moment diagram so this is a 2 degree curve this is negative 10 kN dot meter negative 30 kN dot meter and then 30 kN dot meter and then 20 kN dot meter so, this is our uh, moment diagram. So, again, in your exam, uh, lagay nyo lahat or labelan nyo lahat ng points and then in degree ng ating curve. Yan, 1 degree curve yan, 1 degree curve, 2 degree curve. So, this is the solution for our example. For our next example, we have here a simply supported beam that is loaded with a triangular load or a uniform varying load. So first step again is to determine the reaction at A and the reaction at C by having the sum summation of moment at C is equal to 0 clockwise positive. So we have RA multiplied by 9 feet minus the area of the triangular loading which is one half of 270 pounds per foot multiplied by six feet and then the moment arm so we have here c so we have one third of six plus three is equal to zero therefore the reaction at a is equal to And then transpose natin, kaya magiging 450 uh, pounds. And then, taking the summation of forces vertical is equal to 0, upward positive. So, we have 450 plus the reaction at C minus 1 half of 270 multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, the reaction at C is equal to Therefore, we have 360 pounds. And then, for our shear, So for our shear, uh, for segment AB, right, so we have, is there any point load at AB, we have which is 450 pounds. And then next, is there any uh, area in the load diagram we have which is equal to 1 half of 270 multiplied by 6, therefore it is equal to It is equal to negative 360 pounds. And then for VBC, is there any point load at this part? So, wala tayong point load, kaya magre-retain yan. And then VBC left. So, we have negative 360 pounds. Is there any area at the segment BC? So, wala. So, we have negative 360 pounds. Mga pansin nyo, this is negative 360. 
plus 360. Kaya, it is equal to 0. Therefore, yung shear diagram natin ay magkuklose. So, VAB, we have 450 pounds. And then, negative 360. And then, negative 360. So, since this is an increasing load, ang magiging diagram natin for shear will be a concave downward. So, concave downward. Kasi increasing yung ating load diagram. And then, straight lang. So, since this is a 1 degree curve, this would be a second degree curve. This is a second degree curve. So, ito yung ating shear diagram. And then, determine natin yung uh, value ng x kung saan magkakaroon ng zero shear. So, let's say this is x. So, how will we determine the value of x? By having the square property of parabola. Square property of parabola or yung SPP natin. In which, so, on this part, we have 6 squared all over 450 plus 360 is equal to x squared all over 450. Therefore, our x is equal to 2. So, it's equal to 2 square root of 5. So, 2 square root of 5. So, again, yung um, square property of parabola natin, ito yung consider natin. So, ito yung parabola. Ito yung consider natin. So, we have 6 squared all over 450 plus 360 and then the other one ito yon so x squared all over 450 so mako natin yung value ng x which is equal to 2 square root of 5 so let us proceed for the moment So, for the moment, we have moment at AB, right? So, do we have any moment at this part? So, wala. And then next, for And for the moment of AB left, ang consider natin area is this one. So, kung gagawa tayo ng spandrel at this point, ang area nito is equal to one-third of x multiplied by y. And kung ito naman yung kukunin natin, it is equal to 2 thirds of x multiplied by y. So, balikan nyo yung uh, kung paano kunin yung area ng spandrel. So, we have different formulas for that. So, we have uh, kung area nito, so we have 2 thirds of 2 square root of 5 multiplied by 450 pounds. So, it is equal to 1,341.64 so pounds uh, foot. And then, next segment, we have B prime B. So, we have 1,341.64. Is there any moment at this apart? So, wala. So, magre-retain yan. And then, next. Is there any area at this portion? So, we have an area which is equal to 1341.64 pounds. That foot minus. So, it is equal to minus. So, kung ang i-consider nating spandrel is this full set na to. Ma-minus lang natin yung area ng part na to and then 
area ng ating rectangular here. So, we have one third yung kabuuan nito which is 6 multiplied by 450 plus 360 minus yung area nitong part na to which is equal to one third of 450 multiplied by 2 square root of 5 minus area ng ating rectangle which is equal to so kung 6 minus 2 square root of 5 yan this is equal to 1.527 so this is equal to so gamitin na lang natin indiretso na lang natin dito so it is uh, minus 6 minus 2 square root of 5 multiplied by uh, 450 so it is equal to So, it is equal to, uh, let us assume that this is 1,080, 1,080 pounds foot. So, round off na lang natin. And then, moment at B of C, right? So, we have 1080. So, do you have any moment? So, wala. So, mag yan. And then, so, this is 1080. Is there any area in the shear diagram we have which is equal to a rectangular area? So, 360 multiplied by 3. So, it is equal to... So, it is equal to 0. So, let's try to plot the diagram. So, 0. And then... Uh, 1341 yung maximum uh, moment natin 1341.64 pounds foot and then uh, 1341 and then naging 1080 and then nag retain and then at BC right so 1080 BC left so 0 so ayan na close yung ating moment uh, diagram so, this is a 2 degree curve. This is a 2 degree curve. Therefore, the drawing natin is a 3 degree curve. And this is decreasing. Kaya, decreasing uh, or concave downward din yung ating graph. Yan. Concave downward. And then, straight lang yan. Or a 1 degree curve. This is a 3 degree curve. A 3 degree curve and a 1 degree curve. So, ito na yung ating moment diagram. And ito naman yung ating magiging uh, shear diagram. So, this part, yung ating shear diagram. For the next part, we have here a frame that is simply supported. So, we have here reaction at A. We have here the vertical and horizontal forces at D. So let us assume na pababata. So let us say this is reaction at D uh, vertical and then reaction at D horizontal. 
So, taking the summation of moment at D is equal to 0 clockwise positive. So, we have reaction at A of 2, 4, 6. So, we moment arm is 6 meters. Then, yung 14 minus 14. Moment arm is 2. Next, uh, yung vertical component ng ating 10 kN. So, clockwise plus uh, 3 all over 5. So, this is 5. 3 all over 5 multiplied by 10. And then, yung moment arm niya is 2 meters. And then, yung horizontal component. Oh, sorry, this is horizontal component. 3 all over 5 multiplied by 10. And then, the vertical component is equal to. So, we have clockwise direction plus 4 all over 5 of 10 kN. Moment arm is 2 meters. Is equal to 0. So, this is 2 meters also. Therefore, the reaction at A is equal to So, yung reaction at A natin is equal to 0. Then, taking the summation of force vertical is equal to 0. Upward positive. So, we have yung RA natin 0. Minus yung reaction ng ating D vertical vertical component nito plus uh, 4 all over 5 of 10 kN is equal to 0. Therefore, the reaction at D vertical is equal to so it is equal to 8 uh, kN. And then, taking the summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0 to the right uh, positive. So, we have um, negative 14 kN at this part naman, uh, sorry, this is positive. Positive 14 kN. And then, yung horizontal component is plus 3 all over 5 of 10 kN minus R B H is equal to 0. Therefore, the reaction at P horizontal would now be equal to. So, transpose natin. So, magiging, so 20, negative 20, so magiging 20 kilo newton. So, the reaction at A is equal to 8, ah, uh, sorry, 0. D vertical, 8 kilo newton. D horizontal is 20 kilo newton. Iko-convert natin itong frame into a single beam. So, we have... So, ito na yung um, representation ng ating frame in which yung reaction at A natin is equal to 0. 0 kN. So, walang support. So, okay lang neglect na natin yan. And then, we have here a counterclockwise moment which is equal to 14 multiplied by 2. So, we have 28 uh, kN that meter. And then, at this part, we have a vertical force which is equal to 4 all over 5 multiplied by 10. So, it is equal to uh, 8. We have here 8 kN. And then, a moment, para sa horizontal, a moment that is clockwise. Moment of uh, 3 all over 5. So, 3 all over 5 multiplied by 10. And then, the moment arm is 2. So, it is equal to 12 kN that meter. And then, we have here downward na 8 kN. And then, a horizontal component of 20 kN. So, for the shear, for this is A, B, C, and D. So, for B, A, B, right. So, wala tayong point load dito, kaya 0. And then, B, A, B, left. Um, is there any area in the uh, 
load diagram. So, wala tayong area. So, 0 pa rin. And then, V, B, C, right. Uh, do we have point load? So, wala pa rin. 0. V, B, C, left. We have a point load, which is equal to 8 kN. So, we have 8 kN. And then, V, B, uh, V, C, D. We have V, C, D at the right. So, do we have an area here? Load diagram, wala. So, 8 kN magre-retain. And then, at VCD left. So, do we have um, an area? Wala pa rin. So, it is equal to 8 kN. Pabansin nyo, this is 8 kN and we have a reaction of negative 8 kN. Therefore, magsasara yung ating shear diagram. So, pre-plot na natin. For the shear diagram, we have here 0 hanggang uh, VBC right. So, 0 pa rin dito. And then, at VBC left, nagkaroon ng 8 kN. So, we have 8 kN. And then, at VCD, uh, VBC left, meron tayong 8 kN. Uh, VCD right, you have 8 kN. VCD left, 8 kN. Yeah. So, we only have a triangular Oh, shear diagram here. Oh, no, sorry. Rectangular, I should say. That is in rectangular. So, ito na yung ating shear diagram. And for the moment diagram, for the moment, is there any moment at this point? Wala. So, we have 0. Next, we have A, B, left. Uh, do we have area at the shear diagram? Wala din. So, 0. Then next moment at BC, right? So we have a moment at this part we have which is equal to negative 28 kilonewton dot meter. And then MBC left. Do we have an area here at the shear diagram? Wala. So we have negative 28 kilonewton dot meter. And then MCD right. So do we have a moment at this portion we have which is equal to positive 12 kilonewton. So, we have negative 16 kilonewton that meter at MCD uh, right. And then, so at MCD left part, we have uh, an area in the shear diagram. So, we have it is equal to negative 16 kilonewton that meter plus 8 multiplied by 2 meters. So, it is equal to 0. So, yun. I close yung ating moment uh, diagram. So, let's plot now the moment diagram. So, 0, 0, and then at MBC right, we have negative 28. So, we have negative 28 kilonewton that meter. And then MBC left, negative 28 pa din. And then at MCD right, uh, naging negative 16. And then, the close siya into 0. So, straight lang yung ating... So, at this part, straight lang siya. Ay, sorry. Mali. So, let's connect. This point, 0 siya. And then, 0 pa din. Tama. 0, 0. So, Yes, uh, correct. So we have here 28. So, tama, this is a uh, straight line and straight line. And then, this is a 1 degree curve. 1 degree curve. So, ito na yung ating magiging moment diagram. And this is our shear diagram.